Hi, this is Rita from Movie Spirit. In this lesson, we will introduce how to add video and what kind of video editing features we can make with our Movie Spirit. We will just give a brief introduction of all the features one by one here. Please pay attention to the red cycle of the screen. Firstly, click the plus button to create a new project and enter the project name. The setting page will jump out. You can set up the aspect ratio of the screen as you need. And then select Add Video. Select the video you want to edit. Once the video added, it will go directly to the video editing mode. All the video editing features are listed in the middle of the screen here. Before we introduce the list features from left to right, we would like to highlight three important features firstly. The first one is you can move your finger across the video screen to change the video location. The red cycle you see on the screen is where my finger puts on. The second feature is resize the video screen. The resize button is also located in the middle list, but we introduce this feature firstly. That's because generally we need to set the video size once it is added. The third one, we are going to introduce those six blue dots on the video frame. Drag any of these six blue dots can be free to change the shape of the video. In case you don't like the deformation you made, just click the most right circular arrow logo to restore the original shape of the video. Now, let me introduce all the features from left to right one by one. The first icon is the trash can icon. To delete the current editing video, just click on this icon and it will be deleted directly. After you delete it, you can re-add a new video to make the editing again. The second sun icon is for the setup of brightness, contrast, and saturation. You can just drag the doors in the middle to make the change as you need. Next one is about gradual opaque. There are several options here. We just let one to show you. Let's display the final effect of this feature. In case you don't like the effect you made, you can delete it here. The next feature we are going to introduce is very important and it almost be used by everyone. That is about how to split the video. In which situation we need to split the video? For example, you have a video in total 30 minutes, but you want to delete the middle part. Just want to keep the first 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes. In this case, you need to use the split function to split the middle part out and then delete it. Let me demonstrate the specific operation. Take this video as an example. I want to delete the part between the 10th and the 20th second of the video. In the middle of movie spirit screen, there's a timeline. 
drag the white circle of the timeline to the beginning part you want to delete and then click the speak icon as you can see the video is already split into two parts now and again drag the white circle to the end part of the video where you want to delete and click split icon to perform the split operation again So there, the middle part of the video is already split out here, and we can delete it directly. Double click on the video item to enter into the editing mode, and click the trash can icon to delete the item. As you can see, the unwanted part is already deleted. Okay, the next feature we are going to introduce is about the transition effect. We can select one of the transition effects from here to the beginning part of the video or the end part of the video. This is the final output. And the next feature is about rotation. In some case, maybe we need to rotate our video. The feature next to rotate is resize. We already introduced previously, so we will disregard it here. Okay, let's go into the next one, feature. There are different types of feature here. We will only select two of them as example. Please pay attention to the red circle on the screen. Let me display the final output of this feature. Okay, let's go to the next one, motion point. In total, there are four types of motion point here. The first one can be used to zoom the video. And the second one is for the video rotation. The third one is for the video transparency. And the last one is for the video volume. Let me demonstrate the operation step. Please pay attention to the red circle. Click down to add the motion point. As you can see, one motion point is already added. And again, draw the video chip to the second place where I want to add the motion point. and add the motion point again. Continue to add the third motion point. And one more here.
Now, as we can see, there are in total four motion points we already add into the video. Let's see the final output. To remove the motion point you added, you just need to double tap on the motion point number, then the motion point will be deleted. The next feature we are going to introduce is about how to trim the video. Take this video as example here. Draw the start timeline, the yellow line, to the place from where you want to keep and then draw the end timeline to the end part also. You can preview the video here to see whether the trim has been performed correctly. Tap the tick to complete the action. As we can see, the video has been trimmed. The next feature is about animation. This feature is very simple. Just select the animation effect you like and then tap the tick to perform the change. We randomly select one of the animation effect here. Let's see the final output. The next feature Clock video. This feature is also very simple here. You can select the standard aspect ratio to perform the clock. Or you can draw the four corner to perform the clock. Let's see the final output. The next feature is about how to taste snap of the video. Just tap on the snap icon and the snap shop will be saved directly to the camera load. You can also insert the snapshot as a new chat into the project. The next feature is about how to extract audio from video. This action will not make any change to the original video. The original audio still remains on the video. The next feature is about color splash. Long press on the video screen to pick color. The other color on the video will be changed to gray color. Let's see the final output here. The next feature is about flip video. You can see the difference once we select the flip type. You can see the final output here. You can find the difference, right? We can adjust the volume of the video here. In case you want to mute the video, you can change the volume to zero. The next feature on Movie Spirit is we can change the shape of the video. There are different shapes here. You can select the one you like. 
you can adjust the border of the shape and you can also change the border color. Mode shape options you can find under the advanced part. We we'll random select one of the shape options here. You can see the final output. The coming feature is about the chroma kit. The RGB color is the standard one. You can see the change by select the different color range. You also can customize the color by long press on the video screen to pick color. This video is not a good example to reflect this feature. Let me select another typical example to show you. Okay, this is a video with the green background color. And on the chroma kit, we select the green color. And you will find the background color of the video disappears. Let's see the final output. You can have a try it by yourself, and you will find amazing output you can make with our movie spirit. The next feature is opaque. You can adjust the range to set up here. The next feature we are going to introduce is about how to adjust the playback speed of the video. Let me slow down the playback speed and see the output. The playback speed becomes very slow now. And again, let me speak up the playback speed and see the output. The next one we are going to introduce is about how to duplicate a video. As you can see, I just tap on the duplicate icon and the video has been duplicated. The next feature is you can replace the current editing video directly by tap on this replace button. The last four icons in the feature list is you can move up and down of the video chat as you need. Okay, we have finished introducing all the video editing functions we can make with our movie spirit. In case you want to learn more professional editing skills, you can refer to our advanced course, which we will release later. Thank you.